Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So it's been quite a while since we had a spa night video. So I decided today would be the day we actually bring those back. So today's topics are going to kind of be all over the place. I'm not going to try to cover a few different things because I want to do another one of these for next week that I want to kind of do this alongside somebody that I'm very excited for you guys to meet. I already filmed one video with him, but I'm not sure if I'm going to put this video up first or that one. I'm thinking I might put this one up first since we're talking about relevant topics in this one and then the one with Derek the person I'm talking to you guys about right now I will probably put up next week just because he's not really well versed in the world of YouTube and the beauty community just yet he's now getting into it he's a lot more open to it he had his first live stream a few weeks ago on you now but we also want to film a spa night chit chat video and I know you guys have been asking me to do another one because so much has happened in the past few weeks especially in the past 48 hours with Kathleen lights and Jacqueline the hill just like ugh, so much has happened so let's just go ahead and get into it I have not used this mask in about a month, I want to say. It's been quite a while, so I'm going to use this again. You guys know this was my favorite mask over the past few months just because it does so much good to my skin. The first topic I wanted to discuss is the Kathleen Lights and Jaclyn Hill situation, which obviously was a huge topic on Twitter over the past 24 hours. It was huge when it first hit. I cut straight to the point because I don't want to drag this on. Last night, I wrongfully posted a snap that I should not have posted. And the second that I realized what I had posted, I deleted it. Me and Kathleen, her husband Danny, my, my husband, all hung out yesterday the entire day. We had a blast. We got done filming. We made some drinks. We went upstairs. We started playing video games. We were having a great time. I asked her, I said, is it okay if I Snapchat you? And she's like, oh yeah, of course, of course, of course. Kept drinking, kept playing, laughing. It was hilarious. As you guys have seen the Snapchats, her reaction was so funny of her shaking her legs. I was so in the moment. Kathleen said something that she regrets so much. Her and Danny both said in the Snapchat, oh, don't post that, don't post that. I did not hear them, and I just posted it. I cannot believe, once we realized 20 minutes later, 25 minutes later, sorry, there's mosquitoes everywhere, people started tweeting us being like, whoa, what did I just see? And we're like, wait, what, huh? I went to my Snapchat and I'm like, what are they talking about? Once I realized what I had posted, I freaked out. I deleted it the second that it happened. I could not even, I, I still, I'm so angry at myself. I cannot believe that I did not hear them say, don't post that. Because in the Snapchat, like you can hear her husband say, oh, don't post that, don't post that. But I'm just like, ah! just didn't even hear them. And I am so mad at myself that this happened that I could cause like such an uproar and I am so sorry like I, I don't even have any, I have nothing to say right now like even though I'm saying so much I have nothing to say and now people are coming and attacking me and leaving snake emojis all over my social media telling me that I did this to push her down so that I could be on top so that I could be a queen and I'm just like is, is this what you guys really think about me like obviously it is but First of all, even if she did something that wasn't even offensive, even if she just said like, oh my God, I like bananas. And then was like, wait, no, don't post that. I don't want anyone to know that I don't like bananas. I wouldn't post it. Like that makes me look bad. Why would I post something knowing that they said, don't post it? Like, I am just honestly mad at myself because I'm normally so much sharper than that. I'm normally better than that. I normally, I'm on top of things. The only thing I can think is because I was drinking and I was staying right next my loud ass TV with surround sound and I was laughing like a hyena and I was not paying attention to what she was saying. I was paying attention to her body movements and her reaction and I thought it was hilarious. And I feel like an idiot. I feel like an idiot and I am so sorry. And I'm so sorry that this happened to Kathleen because Kathleen is seriously, like I have said, the nicest person that I have ever met. And like what she said was wrong, but she feels so bad. I mean, when like we got done snapping and like we went back and like she was like, freaking out. She's like, I can't believe that word came out of my mouth. And she's given such a genuine apology to everybody. And like, I just, I feel terrible. I, I just feel terrible. And I feel terrible and I'm, I'm sorry. I want to first just preface this by saying that Kathleen has always been one of my favorite YouTubers as far as the influencers, if not the favorite, because she's humble, she's real as fuck, but it just, something about her, you can tell she's definitely a more humble person compared to everybody else in the influencer community. And that's the reason why I love her so much and I continue to support her. Um, and it's unfortunate this happened. It's unfortunate that she said what she said and it's unfortunate that what had happened to her had happened to her because it was very shady. Doing this. Oh, you don't want them? That's so you can see. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right. Okay, I have, okay, I'm moving. You got it, yeah. <laughs> oh my god, this is really creepy. This is really creepy. Are they like around me? No, no one's around you yet. 
Yeah. Look at her feet. Look at her feet. She's so scared. She's so. I've never had the balls to play this. This is my nightmare. You're not gonna play it? No, John. You know, this is not my journey, baby. Come on, clowns. Bitch, no. She's gonna pop up over my bed. I thought you said she's scared of shit. How is she playing? She's terrified. I don't know. John, I don't know how she's doing this. It's really beyond me. I would literally be having nightmares for the next year. She's handling it like a boss. Kathleen definitely fucked up. And honestly, I don't think anyone should say that word, but who the fuck am I to tell you guys what the fuck to say, you know what I mean, or not to say in this case? But I wholeheartedly 100% believe that nobody who is not a person of color should have that word in their vocabulary, period. No ifs, ands, or buts, you have no business saying that shit. Of course, Kathleen took to Twitter and she posted a picture of what looks like a screenshot of a note she created on her phone. And the note, I mean, the way it's read, the way it's written, she does seem like she's genuinely sorry and she's genuinely apologizing. I don't know her. I don't know her personally. I know only what I see on YouTube, only what I see on Instagram, only what I see on, I don't know, fucking Snapchat. And that's how it is with everybody. I mean, everyone was so, like, shocked that this happened the way it did because like I've said before, Kathleen, for the most part, kept to herself. She was a very private person. Her life, her private life, is private. And so we don't know what she's like behind the camera, you know, off the camera in this case. So we don't really know if this was a once-in-a-lifetime thing. If she fucked up this one time, we have no clue. Because like it is with every single channel, including myself, you only see what we want you guys to see, what we will edit into videos. But what really got me fucked up, and not only myself, a bunch of people fucked up, was the fact that there were people who are not people of color, mainly white people, who were on Kathleen's thread for giving her accepting her apology you did nothing wrong you made a mistake um hold the fuck up you think you're gonna sit on this fucking twitter feed and accept an apology that has nothing to do with you an apology that you literally have no room to accept because it does not affect you in any way shape or form i think the fuck not at least not without some repercussions and being confronted for it because what the fuck are you doing that is not your lane get the fuck out of that lane I did not understand what was so hard to understand about not accepting that apology when it's not meant for you. That apology was not meant for white people or Hispanics or, or anybody who wasn't a person of color. But yet we had an entire thread of them. Oh, it's fine, Kathleen. Don't worry. I accept your apology. Bitch, no, you don't. It's not an apology that's for you. Shut the fuck up. I understand what you were trying to do. You were trying to be supportive of her, but that's not the way to do it. Bottom line is, I think we all got a glimpse of a different side of Kathleen that I'm not gonna sit here and bash her for what had happened. I don't know Kathleen at all when it comes to who she is off camera. We, none of us do, let's be real. But I think it's safe to say that I think Kathleen is going to definitely take a hiatus from social media after this because if you have watched her channel for any length of time, you guys know that she does suffer from anxiety. I'm pretty sure she mentioned having a very mild form of social anxiety as well. So I can only imagine what she's going through right now, dealing with all the people going after her and all this bullshit on Twitter because people are fucking pissed, which rightfully so. She had no business saying that word. And even if it is a slip up, I mean, it was a slip up that was kind of fucked up.
Now granted, the other side of this is the fact that Kathleen didn't say it towards anybody. She was actually saying it to the video game. She was reacting to something that was happening in the video game. However, it doesn't make it any less wrong. And that seems to be the thing that people are trying to combat this whole thing with, was that she didn't say it towards anybody in a derogatory manner. It doesn't matter. That's an excuse. It's a lame excuse, and it really does not matter who the fuck she said it to or didn't say it to. The fact of the matter is, she said it, and it was fucked up. I am very disappointed in her. However, the other side of this is Jacqueline, because Jacqueline, of course, Jacqueline is a very combative person whenever her name gets dragged around. I think we've all witnessed her uh, defending her honor, her own honor, many times on social media. And when this whole thing happened, people were kind of shaking their heads and been like, girl, what the fuck? Because she went on Twitter and says this. Now, I was born on a day, but that day was not yesterday, so I'm not fucking stupid, and I'm definitely not dumb. I'm gonna go ahead and replay the Snapchat, okay? And I want you to listen very, very carefully towards the end of the Snapchat. <laughs> you actually have a harder time hearing Kathleen saying the N-word than you do hearing Danny saying, hey, don't post that, don't post that. So how the fuck is Jacqueline gonna sit on Twitter and say, I promise I did not hear either of them saying to not post it. I was too busy laughing in the situation and not paying attention and didn't hear them saying it. Well, if you didn't hear it, how the fuck was Snapchat able to hear it? Jacqueline, of course, said that she had apologized to Kathleen many, 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 many times, that she did not mean for this to happen, but it just, to me, there are so many discrepancies. Like, at one point, Jacqueline says that she thinks she was too drunk to have heard them, but, um, no. If you are so drunk that you can't hear people who are literally just inches away from you, maybe you should put the bottle down. And to Kathleen, I mean, if you are so drunk that racial slurs come out flying out of your mouth on accident, you too should put the bottle down. I mean, no one's innocent in this. They're both guilty as fuck. One is guilty of being a snake-ass bitch, and the other one is guilty of doing dumb shit. It would be hypocritical of me to sit here and defend Kathleen and not speak up against what had happened. It would be stupid of me to do that because what she had said was wrong. It's not up to, you know, me as a Latina or the white people or what whoever else to accept that apology when it has nothing to do with us. It's not our apology to accept. It doesn't belong to us. That apology was not aimed towards us. It was aimed towards people of color who were subscribers of hers, who may have taken what she had said and taken offense to it, which, you know what? I don't, I don't blame them if they did. So that was the major thing. What do you guys think? Do you guys think Jacqueline actually did not hear Kathleen and Danny, or do you guys think there's something shady going on? Jacqueline doesn't really seem like she's genuinely sorry, instead of being like, listen, I fucked up. And she did say she fucked up, but she keeps making excuses. It's excuse after excuse after excuse, you know what I mean? Kathleen, at least, was able to own up to her shit and be like, I literally fucked up. I apologize. I'm sorry. Jacqueline said, I'm sorry, but this is the reason why I did what I did. This is the reason why the Snapchat was posted. I was drunk. I was this. I was that. And it's like, girl, no, you're a shitty ass friend. But anyways, um, regarding everything we've talked about in today's video, what do you guys think about everything? Do you feel like Kathleen is somebody that could be forgiven? Do you think it's something that she's done before? On Jacqueline's hand, do you think she is guilty of being a snaky ass person? Because I feel that way personally. Why do you think that way? Why do you not think that way? Leave everything down below. And if anything else happens that you want to talk about, we'll leave those all down below as well. But I'm going to get on out of here and get dinner going because it's getting pretty late. But thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe if you're not already. And I will see you guys in my next one. I love you guys so, so much. Bye.